What's up guys, Lubert the Great here, and welcome to episode 1 of Lubert Craft. I just regenerated this fresh new world for us to play on, and this is going to become the Lubert Craft world. Uh, I just built this server, it's a bit just a plain vanilla server, um, and you may be asking me, why is all the dirt eaten up already if you just created the world? Or why, why is all the grass eaten up? Well, you see, I spawned in and then I sat here for a little while and was doing other stuff IRL and of course the sheep ate all the grass around me. So, um, luckily I wasn't killed during that time. And so here we go. Oh my gosh, there's turtles in this game? Dude, I didn't know there was turtles. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Can you ride the turtles? No. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to hurt the turtle. No, sorry. I'm sorry, turtle. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I've never played 1.13.2 before, so I've never seen anything in the aquatic update. Um, so yeah, turtles are new to me. Hello, turtles. Um, so I, I guess I have a turtle pond, uh, in near my spawn area, so that's awesome. Um, there's also obviously a village here, and... That's about all I know so far since uh, I just started this. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is go... Oh, jeez. Uh, is go get some basic supplies, you know, get my basic tools real quick. I don't think anyone wants to sit through that, to be honest. I don't think I would want to sit through that. So I'll go ahead and kind of skip forward a little bit here and get all of my basic tools. And then we can start a little project. Um, so, yeah, here, I'll speed this part up for you. Here. All right, so I've got some basic building materials basic tools and everything only took I don't know, a couple minutes And I think the next thing is we need to figure out a hut for the overnight Because of course I'm too nice of a person to steal one of these lovely villagers houses or huts to use for my own So I must build one before nightfall, which is uh, you know coming fairly quickly But I think I need to ask permission of the villagers um <laughs> First, we have to find them because I, the none of them are outside, but I can hear them, like, yelling. And the fact that the uh, doors are all screwed up kind of leads me to believe that they're all stuck in some building somewhere. Um, so we're going to find ourselves a villager so we can ask them nicely if we can build a, a house or a hut. Oh, I can hear them. they got to be in this building. Is there? Oh, there they are. They're all hiding in here. Um... I'm breaking in, villagers. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be nice about this, but, you know. Oh, hi, why, hello there, sir. Good sir. Oh, well, you know, that would explain <laughs> why they weren't, why they weren't leaving. Oh, geez. Um, uh, good sir, yes, you. Um, may, may I please build, build a hut adjacent to your village? Yes? Oh, perfect. Why, thank you very much. I'll let me out of here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're gonna build a house next to them then and I'm also gonna block this guy in because I don't want him to leave or die because he gets out in the wild now like this guy's probably gonna die from a zombie or something who knows um, anyway all right so we can build a village we have acquired permission and or build a village I mean build a house within the village so let's go ahead and start doing that because we need to get something put together right quick to prevent ourselves from being attacked by the baddies come nightfall um and it looks like this is probably over here going to be the best bet as far as road that isn't like half underground or something ridiculous like that so let's start building a house here first of all we gotta fix this road look at this look at how it, look at this it's so messy all right that's good enough uh, <laughs> oh nope there's another one all right good now we must quickly build a house before nightfall Get rid of all this grass. I need a lawnmower in here. Jeez Louise. You know, that's what they need in Minecraft. A lawnmower. And you guys are thinking, well, they already have them. It's called sheep. Well, you know, the sheep are over there, not over here. So it's, it's a little bit more difficult. And wow, it's actually getting dark already. Okay, so let's go like that. Front door can be there. Hopefully I have enough wood for this. I don't want to be too, <laughs> too ambitious on the first little... Uh, 
build here because I it's nighttime already and I'm probably going to get attacked by something. Um, I actually don't even remember what level I put the server on as far as uh, mob uh, difficulty. I think I think I might have put it on easy, but whatever. Um, so we're just going to keep building here real quick. All right, that looks good. Okay, you know what? Since I have the materials to do it now, might as well just throw a couple of torches on the outside of this thing. Oop, not on the inside yet. The inside needs to be finished first. And that way we can at least see what we're doing. All right, now I'm gonna make the rest of these into planks and all of these into planks also. For sake of the fact that I don't have a whole lot of materials yet, I'm just going to go like this and like this. Eventually, we'll probably, well, okay, to be honest, eventually, we probably won't even be living in this building. But as a first little thing here, oh my goodness. Uh, see, I knew that was going to happen. And now he can climb on the roof or something. No, not quite. All right, but we do want to fill in the roof quickly. I don't know if I have enough of oak planks to do that, but whatever. It'll be, it's kind of a hodgepodge of a build. Really, I'm one short, a single one. Oh, it's, you know what? It's that one right there. All right, we need a crafting table quickly so I can build myself a door to replace that with. All right, get inside, back inside. I know there's, I know there's zombies out there. And because I am just annoyed by that, I'm gonna go do that. Throw a couple of torches in here. All right, I'm perfectly out of torches. I don't have any food though. Uh, all the food is outside. That's really not helpful. I do have enough to make a chest though. Actually, good. I have enough to make two chests. Perfect. All right, we have two chests. We can build ourselves a couple of furnaces. I will do it with one furnace. And now, unfortunately, I don't have a bed either because I didn't. I need, I need shears. I need to get iron before. I don't want to kill the sheep because I want to farm them. So, you know, I want to keep them alive. Uh, we can throw that in there for now. Let's make a couple more torches. And then we may have to venture outside into the wilderness. And, uh, you know, uh, take, a, take a little bit of a risk here to go get some stuff to make some food. Uh, where are these zombies at? There's a skeleton. It's not even shooting at me. Stupid skeleton. Probably shouldn't be just, you know, really nearly attacking all the monsters right away. Because I have nothing, but, you know, that, that worked out pretty well. Now I have two arrows and not a bow, but that's okay. I have some bones. Got some bone meal. Um, I believe we should have, I think, oh, geez, there's already Enderman over there. This is great. I need, I want to get to the wheat over here so I can make some bread. Let's farm all of this. And I'm also gonna replant it quickly. And so that we can keep regenerating our food sources. This is actually so handy to spawn right next to a village. I love when that happens. All right, so now we can go make some bread. So I'm gonna go do that quickly. Get back inside. Ah! Jeez. Stopped. I stopped being able to run there. And I thought I was still running, but I wasn't. All right. Dude, villager, why are you outside? Get inside. It's safer inside. Then the zombies won't kill you. Oh, my gosh. Our little house looks so sad. <laughs> but that's, that's what we got to do. Us poor... I, I want to change that door, too, but I don't have the materials to do it yet. So that's going to stay how it is for now. Let's make some bread. Wonderful. All right, now let's eat. So I have some food and I need iron though. I don't have, I would have, I mean, there's gotta be some iron in one of these little surface tunnels, I would think. Um, so let's see if I can find some quickly without getting too damaged or attacked. I didn't see any in this little spot here before. Um, let's see. How about in this one? Iron, hello. Looking for some iron, that's cool. I don't wanna, I really am not keen on venturing too deep into this thing yet. 
because I don't know what's down here and it's probably not friendly and I don't want to find out. I also didn't bring any blocks with me to build back out of places, so that was smart. I do have a shovel though. I can easily get some dirt. There, okay. I've got two blocks now. Um, there's got to be another surface tunnel that actually has iron in it. Isn't there? Come on. Ah, what the heck? What the crap? What in the world? I didn't know there was flying mobs in this game. What in the freaking world? Like seriously, what am I supposed to do against that? Run away? Holy cow. That scared me, like legitimately. Uh, okay. When were those introduced? Like seriously. I don't even know what I'm gonna do about that. I don't have any bow or anything. Can you even hit them with a sword? I probably shouldn't even be out here. They're just gonna kill me. <laughs> well, all the animals are getting stuck down there. Like seriously, that was, like I heard that weird uh, sound that I didn't recognize in the game, but I didn't think it was gonna come from the sky. He's coming in. Ah! I didn't even, okay, okay, screw that. Run away, run away. To half health. It took me down to half health. I am not messing with that anymore. Jeez. Oh, oops. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna just sit in here till daytime, and I'll rejoin you at that point because there's no way I'm going back outside right now. I am too freaked out. All right, we're back, and it's daytime. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say, yeah, those things aren't gone yet. Um, I have no idea. I'm hoping they just die in the sunlight, but since I know nothing about them and I didn't even know they existed, I don't even know if they die in the nighttime or in the daytime. Uh, so here's to hoping that they, oh good, they start on fire and die. That is just what I wanted to see. Um, good. <laughs> Cause those things were kind of freaky and really damaging. Oh, excuse me. Really damaging. It doesn't look like it dropped anything. That is crazy, dude. I am no... Like, that brings me, like, a whole new level to being scared at night in this game, honestly, for me. I... Oof. I haven't jumped that bad playing Minecraft in, I don't know, ever. I just didn't know that... The, like, I don't even know what to say about that. And I just want some iron because I want a bed. Now, uh, more than ever. <laughs> But I am not finding any. Maybe there's some down here. Did I already look down here? I already looked down here, didn't I? Do I need to venture a little further? Okay, there's some iron. Good. Can grab that. Whew, I'm kind of sweating now, you know, from the, the adrenaline. That's so, that's so sad to say. Like, I have gotten an adrenaline rush from playing Minecraft because I got, like, freaked out by some flying thing that almost killed me. All right. Now we can go make some shears. Now I think I have enough coal for now anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. I think this video will end once I make a bed and I feel safer that I will not die immediately all the time because I can actually sleep through the night then. So let's do this and make some shears. We got to smelt our iron. Throw that in the smeltery. Wait a few moments. So let's see. I had, in the meantime, I had a couple of saplings, only two, literally a couple. Okay, well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, let's just throw those over here and also throw a torch by them for good measure so that they can grow during the nighttime. And we have two iron. Now I believe that makes shears. Yep. Okay, perfect. Let's go get some wool from these very friendly sheep over here. I think there's some stuck down here, right? Yeah. All right, that's a couple. How many is that? Just one. Wow, it's a good thing I brought uh, blocks to get out of here. Well, I guess all the, all the animals can get out too, but that's okay, honestly. I mean, they're not gonna get, they're not gonna die just walking around. Well, probably not anyway. All right, 
That's actually enough, but we'll get the rest of these anyway. Now oh, we've got some gray ones. One more sheepy. There we go. Okay, we've got all the sheepy sheared. And we want to make a bed. And then I think that's where we'll leave it off. I think what we'll do next time is lay out some plans for our first little version of a base here and then kind of go from there. Take it from there. We'll, you know, maybe upgrade the house a little bit and probably add some saplings here. Maybe I'll grab some wood in between uh, episodes. Oh, there's an Enderman right there. That's friendly. Um, it almost looks like we're on, like, because there's water over there, there's water over here. I'm wondering if we're on a peninsula or if the water actually goes all the way around. So maybe we'll do a little adventuring, too. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet, but we will find out. Definitely need to do some house upgrades because this thing is just pathetic, to be honest. Um, so I think this is where I'm going to leave the game. Or Oh, my goodness. I can't even make a bed yet. What, who am I kidding? I can't leave yet. I gotta make a bed. I gotta get some wood. Uh, okay. This is the first time I want to cannibalize the village because there's wood all over the village. And I have to run all the way the heck out here just to get some wood for my bed. But I do need it because heck no to, the, to going outside at night anymore, basically. All right, let's run back. Um, so I'm gonna make a bed and we'll leave it there. And next week we will be doing some, probably some building and maybe some adventuring. And I would like to thank you all for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed the first episode of Lubert Craft. It will be coming out every week on Friday. Um, and until further notice, basically, because I plan on having this go for quite a while. Um, Go ahead and leave a comment if you want to see me do anything particular or build any specific projects in the Lubert Craft world here. Um, also, if you just want to say hi, I mean, feel free. I usually comment people back. And now that we have a bed, I do believe that is where we are going to end the video. So here we go. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.